I'm not normally what I would consider to be an angry person, but just like everybody else, every now and again I will see something or hear something which I consider to be so unfair or unjust that it makes me see red. And today was one of those days. Um, it's prompted me to put together this video because I'd like to send a message to Americans and Catholics everywhere, and in particular Catholic Americans. Um, I was reading the BBC report of Pope Benedict taking his bead jiggling act off to the US shores, and it turns out that he's actually brought up the, uh, the somewhat thorny issue of the child sex scandals that have been plaguing the Catholic Church over the past few years. So the question is, how did the great man deal with this difficult topic? Did he do what any normal human being would do? Did he stand up there and apologise? Did he say, it didn't happen on my watch, but I accept full responsibility because I'm head of this organisation on earth? Did he say, this was truly awful, it should never have happened, we will make sure it never happens again, and we will do everything within our power to make it right? You know, and given the fact that his line manager is supposed to have created the universe, they should be able to do quite a bit. Is that what he did, this great spiritual leader? No. Did he fuck? What he did was he stood up there and he said that the whole thing had been badly handled. Badly handled. I mean, what a weaselly and ambiguous phrase that is. What does he mean, badly handled? Does he mean badly handled in the sense that some bad people did some bad things and they covered it up and that was bad? Or does he mean badly handled in the sense that some bad people did some bad things, but they just covered it up badly and they got found out? Now, I don't know what he meant. You know, it can be interpreted one of two ways. And I'm not privy to the inner workings, the inner council of the Catholic Church, so I don't know for sure. All that I can do is draw my own conclusions based on what I know of the Catholic Church and its workings and its deeds. So, you know, pretty much that seals it for me, because I know which of those two options I'm going to plump for. Anyway, this egregious little fuck then goes on to say that he feels part of the blame for all of this lies with a breakdown in US values. Now, you can probably tell from my accent that I don't come from the US, but I've been there a few times, and I work with quite a few Americans, and I've met quite a few Americans on the internet. And what I can say is that American ideals and the ideals on which their country is founded are actually quite noble and inspiring. And it, though this doesn't make me any kind of great expert on US values, I find it hard to believe that these values have broken down to the extent where you could find an American anywhere who wouldn't react with absolute horror at the prospect of a child being raped. That's the only response that any civilised person can have. You know, and let's be absolutely clear about this as well. You know, these priests weren't tempted by the devil to indulge in some kind of paedophiliac act, some kind of sin. They were just led off the, the straight and narrow. Although I've got absolutely no doubt whatsoever that their confessors forgave all of their sins, regardless of how horrific they actually were. Let's call this what it is. Let's call it rape. It's not child abuse, it's not child sex scandal, it's rape. Any kind of sexual act with a child is rape, and calling it anything other than rape is a lie. Anyway, this guy here, he goes on, let me just quote something that he said today. He said, what does it mean to speak of child protection when pornography and violence can be viewed in so many homes through the media widely available today? So what's old good old Benny saying here, yeah? He's saying that a child who is exposed to any kind of violence or pornography in their home, you know, where well, hopefully their parents are uh, regulating such things, that that is directly comparable to a kid being raped by one of his priests. So all of you Americans out there, all of you who've welcomed this man into your country and celebrated his arrival and fated his every word, you now know exactly what he thinks of you. He believes that you are partly responsible for the rape of each of these children. So maybe it's worth giving that some thought the next time you want to turn out and worship this guy. I tell you what, I'm glad that I'm not a Catholic because I think I'd find that a pretty fucking hard corner to defend. Sort you later.